And uh, so uh, let, let's talk about uh, the baby, which uh, you don't look like you just had a baby. How old is your baby now? She's uh, eight, eight, eight months, eight and a half months. You should know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I should, but that's the little thing about eight, having a baby. You eight. just. Oh, that's, come on. That's Aviana. That's. Oh, oh that's. Yeah, she's pretty great. She's pretty See, great. It's funny, because in, in that picture that they're showing, it's actually at a photo shoot. It's a, well, it's a good way to get great pictures taken, too, to just <laughs> bring is. them along to the photo shoot. It is. That's what yeah. Portia and I do. Whenever I have a photo shoot or Portia has a photo shoot, we just casually show up and, like, <laughs> oh, can you get a picture of the two of us? And then we have these great pictures. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of her, I just read her book. And I have to tell you, it's such a beautiful book. And I'm so appreciative that she had the courage to do that and come out and talk about that. Thank I don't you. know if you guys have read this if book. If you haven't read Portia's book, Unbearable Lightness, uh, it's amazing. It really is. And it's beautifully written as well. And I just just thank her and, you know, it's great. It's I think it's it's so important for so many people, but especially young girls, to read. And uh, they just did a, another article in the New York Times about it. But I'm, I'm so glad. Because it really does, you, especially in this business, you can let it, re it really get to you and, and think you don't look good enough. and. Well, it's, it's really easy, especially with all of, you know, the bloggers and all of the information that's out there. And the red carpet's like a sporting event now. And, you know, you, you try really to is. not let it get to you, but it does at times. And, you know, you, so I just, I really, I just... I, I'm being really earnest. I really, really do appreciate it. I was a dancer before, so I was surrounded with a lot of that and had my own body issues, you know, like every girl. So yeah. I, I just, I really appreciate it. Well, that's it. great. That's, uh, that's yeah. it's good to hear, and I keep hearing good things like that good. from other people. And I hear we have something in, in common that uh, we both are, are, are reality show fans, because uh, Bethany Frankel's on the show today. Yes, You're yes. a huge reality show fan. I, I am. I miss you on Idol. Oh, thanks. But I agree. I really think they're doing a good job. They but are. I do miss you. I thought you were so, so kind. Oh, thanks. I'm so, so glad insight. that I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> it's so hard to try to tell people that oh, they gosh. aren't good. It, it just, it just, every time I would try to think of some funny way or kind way to say it, and I don't have any of that Had pressure anymore. But I do think they're doing a good job. They are. But I think um, I tend to watch either talent shows or like forensic shows or like, um, like forensic files or like. Um, Snapped, which is what is that? It focuses on women. Have the you women know they all laugh. What it's is like it? women who kill, and it makes my fiance very nervous. Sure. He, so, like as a joke, I like to like get out a notepad. He's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm kidding." I'm kidding. That's hilarious. Um, but there's one called "I I Survived" or "I Shouldn't Have Survived" that scares me. Yeah. I, I shouldn't be alive. As I shouldn't watched be that. Alive. I haven't watched "I Survived," but I, uh, this season. <laughs> but because there is one called "I Survived." Yes. And then there's another one called "I Shouldn't, I shouldn't be, alive. be Alive." But either way, none of them should be alive. No. <laughs> I mean, they're crazy stories of people that shouldn't be alive. It's, it's crazy. It, but it, doesn't it give you hope that any situation, uh, you can get out of it? Absolutely. I mean, I, that's, it puts things in perspective, for sure. Yeah. Because, like, here I am going, I survived the red carpet. I just feel so stupid. Right. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> this person got, like, stabbed in the head. Yeah. And I'm, like, just thanking myself for getting through one more red carpet. <laughs> right. So.